Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect up your PS5 DualSense controller to your Delta emulator. So to you know, be able to use Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, well, there's N64, there's, there's NES, NES, and DS games as well with your PS5 controller. This assumes that you've already set up the emulator, so like the BIOS files for any emulator that requires it, the, you know, the ROMs in the right location, imported them in. Uh, again, this video is for educational purposes, does not condone piracy. There, I've got a separate video though that covers how to set it all up. There'll be a link in the description. Feel free to check that out. Once you've, once you've set it up, you're good to go. Now we can actually connect this up. PS5 controller, very simple. All you gotta do is open your settings. In here, go to Bluetooth. In here, you want to now put this into pairing mode. To do that, you press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time, the light around the touchpad will start flashing, and that means it's in pairing mode, then it'll come up in other devices on your iPhone. So let me keep these pressed, press it for about three to five seconds, and you can see it's flashing. The controller's now detected, click DualSense wireless controller, it'll go solid, that means it has now officially connected. It changes color as well. If yours doesn't and it works, that's fine. Again, it's just like mine, you know, did. And now that's it. We can go to Delta Emulator. In there, you want to go to your settings in the top left. And here you can, you know, assign this to one of your players. So default, you probably want it for player one. You, again, you'll usually just choose the controller by default so you don't have to actually uh, you know assign it yourself but if it doesn't you just click your sense now you can customize the controls click customize from here you can choose the emulator that you want to customize it for so you could have a different set with like the ps5 controller for nets different for Game Boy advance different for ds etc i'm going to do it for one emulator that'll be n64 because that's the game that i'll be you know testing but the principle is exactly the same to change the emulator itself you click the emulator name at the top drop down pops down you select the emulator so if i click n64 as you can see this has a lot more buttons as well so having something like this where it has a lot of buttons is really good so to reassign something let's say if i want to reassign up to the r2 button you press the up button on your emulator on your iPhone, press R2, boom, done, there we go. But let me show you something. If I press up again, and if I want to sign left to it, it wipes the previous mapping of the left key in the emulator. So you can't have a single physical button mapped to two or more you know, virtual buttons in the emulator. You're not allowed, so you can't do some sort of thing where you know, if you're playing some sort of game and you want it to jump and then you know, perform some action, you know, some sort of, I guess, macro, that's not supported, at least not yet. Might be in the future. And I'm just going to click reset, reset to default. And you, you will also see quick save, quick load, and fast forward. You can click them and they'll assign something to that as well. So I'm going to click R2 because that's not assigned by default to anything. Quick load, L2. Fast forward, you know, I'll leave. I don't really use that that often, but it is nice to have quick load and quick save as well. And you can obviously you know rearrange all your settings. And the only other thing that's not I guess game specific outside of these sort of quick save, quick load, and fast forward is the menu. So if I can click the menu, by default it's assigned to the PlayStation button. That's what's detected as the menu button. And this is what peers up where you can have like that quick save, quick load, you know, exit in the game, you know, going to the main menu, for example. Click save once you're done. And one thing to bear in mind, if you look at the controller opacity, usually it's set to 70% by default. So I found if you leave it at, you know, at default, when you launch the emulator, the, the on, you know, the touchscreen controls disappear, which is good, you know, which is great. But if they don't, if you have some sort of error like that or problem, simple, just put the opacity to 100, that'll make it fully, you know, transparent so you can just see through it so there'll be no, you know, controller on screen controller is technically there but it's just you know invisible now and that's it you know you're done you're good to go click done launch up your game and it's me mario quick load i think it was so if I press that, hello i don't think i have a copy save let me launch this up so this is a no thing to bear in mind i've launched up the main menu i cannot navigate using the controller i have to use the 
touchscreen. So you will still need to use the touchscreen. General rule of thumb, game specific in the game, you can use a controller outside of the game. So anything, anything to do with the emulator, aka Delta, you'll have to use the touchscreen. So if I go to load state, yep, here we go. There we go. So now, if I I can jump. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Go. And you know that's pretty much it. Obviously, I can close it, and I can press the PlayStation button. Takes me to the menu. Like I said, from this, you'll have to use the touchscreen itself. But that's it. There's nothing more to it. To connect up the PS5 controller, like a the DualSense controller, to your Delta emulator. I'll have separate videos covering many other different controller types, so like Xbox, for example. Let me know if you have a request if there's a particular controller that you want me to connect up to it. Now I'll have more than happy to create that video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.